Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oklahoma State's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Stadium, the site for this college football battle. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Breaker as the ball teed up, and we're just yeah, about ready to get this one started. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and he just got stood up right there. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Still first, first down. down. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Caught with room to work. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42-yard line. White gains six yards with a short completion. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. They'll bring him down at the 47. Gary on the tackle at the 47 yard line. That makes it second and 10. made at the 50-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Knocked down of bounds around the 37-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at about the 31. That'll make it second and four. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. Throws complete, he's got room to work. Brought down around the 20 yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Incomplete intended for his wide outs. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. 
You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. This is the ninth play of this drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. That brings up fourth and three. This one should be makeable. Iowa State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's good. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding into a field goal right there. They're ready for the kick. Roland takes it at the four. Across the 30. Inside the 30. Touchdown! When a guy like this gets into the open field, it's pretty much game over if you're trying to catch him. He kind of had that feeling he was going to do something big today, and that's exactly what he did right there. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throw. That's a great tackle at the 35. Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 42. Personal foul. Face Defense. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From the 43 yard line, first down. Play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. They'll spread the field with five wide. And down he goes at the 22. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receivers. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Wide 
open, incomplete. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 22. And for Clark, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. Here's the eighth play of the series. sack on the play and they're really getting some good pressure now well this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback and boy they're putting a lot of pressure on it the sack makes this a fourth and very long doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here he just wants to change field position So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Oklahoma State is up by four. Gets out to about the 21. And he gets a yard on the run. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Second and nine. Ball on the 21. On the throw. Incomplete pass. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Tackle. There's the strike complete. Now Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. We played one quarter. Oklahoma State in front, 7-3. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Oklahoma State holds a four-point lead. Tackle around the 38-yard line. 
Clean and 20 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. He's taken down around the 29 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Up the middle for a nice game. Quality gain of six yards. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Pumps once. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Touchdown, OSU! Makes the PAT. An eight play, 80 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Stonebreaker has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Brought down at the 22 yard line. Think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's out of bounds around the 24-yard line. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. They come out in a five-wide set. third down eight to go ball on the 24 five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun they'll bring him down at the 32 the offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series Moore, back to return it. Moore, fields at the 30, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a team of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three.
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Run and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the forty eight. Gets out to around the 38. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. to go long and uh oh he had the pick and he dropped it he tried to force it to a man that wasn't open and boy was he lucky it wasn't picked off he's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone gain on the play by the halfback. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Yard line. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. From the 22 yard line, it's first down. it out to maybe the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, second down. Complete, he's out of bounds. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. It's the ninth play of the drive. Brought down at the four-yard line. Second and goal. Ball on the four. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. And 
he tacks on the extra point. A 10 play, 61 yard drive. And the result, seven points. So the score now, 21 3. Oklahoma State kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. That's a deal no one on the way. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Well, we've played a half of football. Oklahoma State's up by 18. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud and they got three receivers to my side and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So, you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some ash turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. Down the sideline. He scores. What a play. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 13 yard line. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And he's tackled at the 19. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Defense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your down. offensive progress. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And 
he's taken down at the 11. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That brings him second and goal. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. We've got third and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line. Caught open field. He steps out at the eight. A pickup of about three. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Already has one kick return that went for a touchdown. Let's see if they kick it to him again. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Across the 30. The 50. And they push him out at the 46. So they're just about set to get the game going again. From the 45 yard line. Second down. He's got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop at the 28. That's a game of 17. First down. First and ten, ball on the 28. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it third and goal. Bring 
second down at the one. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Checking in on action in College Park. And for Michigan State, we might have an upset percolating in this one. Maryland's on top, 17-7. 24-6 in our game here. Oklahoma State ready to kick this one off. Number 20, back to return. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 22. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it out to about the 33. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. From their own 36-yard line, third down. hit immediately. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 47. Bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds around the 44 yard line. Time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. 24 to 6, Cowboy. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at the 40 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Make it 
fourth and six. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He's going to air it long. Rose to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. Wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's got it for two. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, keeping an eye on what's unfolding in College Park. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Michigan State, we've got a little drama starting to unfold right now. A potential major upset in the making. The Terrapins are on top, 17-14. Reese, we got a 10-point game, 24-14 here. Roland is deep to receive, and look out, folks. He's looking to run another one back for six. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. Big opening to the 10. Touchdown. Big play. What a big time return for that young man. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Tackled for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 41. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackle made at midfield. Now 
Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. There he goes. He's at the 20. Down the sideline. He's all the way. Touchdown. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line. Tackle made at the 29. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? Drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Complete. It's the junior. Out to about the 38 yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll bring up fourth and one. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They run for the first and they don't get it. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's a team that made on the play. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Let's go! Green 95! Green 95! on the play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. Here's the 
tight end drops. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Makes it to the five. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. strike and he drops it they're gonna go for the easy three here kicks away and he got it let's throw out to Reese now for a studio update Let's check out a game in the Big Ten. Traditionally, three yards in a cloud of dust, but there can be big plays, too. The Boilermakers have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Boilermakers lead 24-17. Well, you can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. The, the kicker the looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Very back deep to return. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. A little over a minute in the game. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled right around the 40. Here they come. And he pulls it down. Tackle at about the 49. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Taken down at the 42. Iowa State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. Under a minute left. the screen pass gets it to the back he's pushed out of bounds around the 39 yard line that'll make it second and seven this is the eighth play of this drive 
They come out in a five wide set. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning, and I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. That makes it fourth and four. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Some steam on that throw. And they'll bring him down around the 24 yard line. Zips it out to his runner. He's got him again. Inside the 10. And they make the stop at the two yard line. Impressive game there by the do it all back. Touchdown, Cyclones! This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he converts the extra point. puts an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout. They'll bring him down at the 40. This back's had a good day on the ground, Kirk. Well, you're going to have big games like this when you show the kind of patience that this runner is showing because you let the play develop and then you explode through the hole for those yards. The thing that I love about this back that you just don't see every week is this kid's determination. Every single time he gets his hands on the ball, he's giving you everything that he has. And right now, that effort and that attitude is too much for this defense to slow down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Oklahoma State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.